Hi, welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I posted a workout practice, but today I'm going to talk about a workout uh, sets, like a su sequence of uh, sets uh, that you can do as a coach for the 100 uh, meters race. Right? And then later on, if, if you're interested, let me know and we'll talk about how you can complement that with distance. But for now, let's go to the video. Don't forget to, to subscribe. If you like the video, then thumbs up, like it and click the notifications button so uh, button so you can uh, you can get notifications when I post another video. Thanks. So here we are, a sequence of workout sets to work on your hand meter base. Um, what I've done here, I, I, I put four workouts, uh, but you can do these workouts through through the, you need to plan them through the season right? and I will plan them the the, the second and third part of the, uh, the third quarter of the season you know third quarter fourth quarter right before taper uh, right before the main competition but you have to be uh, the judge of when you will put these sets right and um, so the idea is a uh, year and a half you know you know do five sixties uh, 60 meter dives on nine ten minutes right and all of the 60 meter dives, uh, they have to be at a 60% of the goal time for that season. And then you're gonna swim easy in between. Now, what I've done here, I'll show you. Uh, I put kind of like a sample of practice that I did back maybe 10 years ago. Um, and you see, we started with 900 every 350 kick, then three 100s freestyle on 130, descend 123 to 150 heart rate, and then 650 drill, 25 swim, 75 kick, no board, choice of speed. And then kind of like the main set to warm up would be 250s to swim on 55 and 225 swim on 40, four rounds. The 50s, you would do one normal work distance per stroke, one 35 build to 200 pace, and then 15 meters hold that pace. And the 25s, you would do one build to strong and one build from strong to fast. Then you do 200 uh, easy and then get ready, suit up. It, it's important that you suit your swimmers up, right? The sequence that you're gonna go through weeks, it's gonna be you're gonna start with five sixties, and then you're gonna have the next workout four seventies, and then the next workout three eighties, and the last workout one or two nineties. You know, I would also start if you go, we go back. You know, you can start with four sixties, three seventies, two eighties, and one ninety. It all depends what type of swimmers do you have, and the mentality they have. Now. Um, remember, what you can do is like, what's the goal time? You know, if the goal time is 51.7 and uh, 100 in long course, well, get a 60% of that. Eh? And, and, and I'll explain later on, probably I would also try to get the 50% of that. Eh? And then you don't want to go from this workout, from workout number one, set number one, to workout number two until they complete successfully five times 60 meters. If they go two of them at 60 meters and they go at the goal time, and then the third one, they're very close, and you do the fourth one and they're far away, stop, don't keep going. Just that means that they're not ready for that. And then maybe you keep working and da, 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 and you plan it for a few, uh, few weeks later or the next week or whenever you think they're gonna be ready, and then do the set again. Once you've accomplished the, the five or four times 60 meters dive, at 60% of the goal time, then you move to the four times 70, you know? And, and do the same thought process. You take the 70% of the goal time for that season in the 100, and then you wanna accomplish it four times, maybe three, but the same, if the swimmer fails or doesn't reach the time, be careful if you use the word fail, if doesn't reach the time, then you stop and then you keep training, you keep building uh, uh, the training to prepare them so they can be successful accomplishing that. And then you move to the three times 80 and and then two times uh, two times or one time 90. Normally, or what I would do, I would place the 90 meters, I would plan uh, the 90 meters uh, 10 to 14 days before uh, you taper and shave and the swimmer is gonna have to do that 100 uh, fully rested. Right? And 
and also suit up. And uh, by that time, if you have planned the season well, you'll have a good concept of how to progress through that set. Right? So I'm going to place my put my glasses because I can barely see. Also, I think uh, what's important it's it's going to be if we go back to the first uh, time that you do this sequence. It's important that they're going to swim easy choice in between. You know, each swimmer, they want to swim 100, 200, whatever it is. Because, you know, at least they're going to have eight minutes, be, you know, un, uh, until they do the next repetition. And what's important, too, is that you have a good one down after the last uh, 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 effort. You know, an example, you know, nowadays they don't like to do one downs, but a good one down would be 12 to 16 50s with fins with 15 to 20 seconds rest. And I would regress by two, where the, you do the first 25 kick, when you start the kick at 160 heart rate effort, and the, that 25, but the eighth, the rate will go under 120, you know? And, and, and then the next 25, you do a freestyle, or you do another stroke, nice and easy, you know? And, you know, I, I wrote another one down, six to eight 100s on 150 or two minutes, uh, you can use fins and then 25 kick re regress like we talk, you know, starting by two, uh, starting at 160 heart rate and regressing by two, and then 50 swim and 25 drill, you know. Uh, I think that volume and that type of like using your legs and teaching the athlete to keep their heart rate a little bit high for a little bit and then slowly bring it down is the most effective that's going to help them at the competition. Right? So. And then, you know, we have some important things, important thoughts, you know, here. Swimming up is important, you know, for this set because it imitates, imitates and allows the swimmer to be faster and, you know, keeps the body higher on top of the water. And that's a very important thing because for a girl, for a guy, it doesn't matter, but it changes the, the way they, they swim a little bit. Right? So it's important that they, they, they suit up. Always do the same stroke, main stroke. Do not change the strokes by distance or because today I'm tired of my breaststroke and I want to do butterfly or freestyle, always the same. What's your main stroke? You do that. You'll set up sets for other strokes if the kid is an IAMR, but the main stroke needs to be always uh, for each effort. I say up the weeks, like I said before, make sure that you go backwards from the day of the meet and set up the 90 meters between 15 to 10 days before the day of the race. I, that's what I do, it works for me. Normally. I will have always an effort like that at uh, 15 days or 10 days before. Do not go to the next workout, very important, or distance until the swimmer successfully do the times that are set for that distance. It is, is it, it is okay to be with the five, six, the five times 60 meters for a few weeks before you go to the 70 meters. It's okay. Plan it with time the first time. And if you, if you feel that it's helping you out later on, for the next season, you can maybe adjust the weeks and you will know if, and hopefully help them be successful the first time. Huh? Uh, also, if you move, make sure that the, that the swimmers are mentally ready. If you move, I mean, if you move to the next set, that the swimmers are mentally ready to take the next step. You know, when you get to the 80s and the 90s, it's pretty difficult. As you prepare the time, make sure that you also write down the 50 meter at 50% of the goal time. Why? Well, you can use that. Um, you can you can use it to make sure that they understand how to do the first 50 of each 60, 70, and 80, and 90 meters. So when they start the 60 meters, they don't go all out because they don't have to go all out. That's what I believe, you know? Like, for example, if the goal time, like I said, in 100 fly long course is 51.71, the 50% of that will be 25.85. You know, a good, a, a good flyer, it goes 51.7 is going to get out in a 24.1, uh, 24.5, you know. So right now, you know, if you get out, if, if, if you if, if you teach your athlete when do these efforts to get out in a 25.4, 25.5, that's a second, a second point three defense. That's huge. And the swimmer can probably be successful instead of like trying to go out as fast as he can or she can. And then by the third one, at the time that they push off the wall, they're wasted, you know? And it's important, you know, you can have a, a Excel sheet with all these times, you know? Like using the 50% to be successful doing these workouts, you know, like I said. And uh, yeah, 
Uh, let's see. How did I adapt? Uh, oh, I'm not going to show you this one. So, you know, as you can see, but as you can see, you know, the 60s, if you, if you, if you think about it and you're smart, they're not going to be that difficult, right? They, they will. It's a, a but. It's, it's not something that they cannot do. But as you get into the 80s and the 90s, you know, that's, that's a very tough uh, task to be able to go at that speed for 90 meters because that means if they can accomplish that, that means that if you have done your job preparing them for everything else, that they're going to be able to finish and accomplish that time. Make sense? Uh, I've used it. I got this practice from a um, French coach, the coach in California and, and Canada. And I'm sorry if you're listening to this. I Last time I spoke with you, I, we, we spoke a few times, was many years ago, and I totally forgot your name. So <laughs> I might sound like a, uh, an idiot, but I'm sorry about that. But uh, I got it from a, a coach that we were exchanging practices that I was doing at Bowls and he was doing, and I really like this type of setup, you know. And so, up to you. If you like the video, just, you know, give me a comment. Please, thumbs up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And also subscribe. And also, next time, if you want to, if you're interested, is I can explain to you in another video. Just let me know how you can complement that for a distance uh, practice. Because a distance swimmer also has to have a goal time on the 100 or in the 200 to be able to have a good 200 or a good 400. And you can do this set and then another little set uh, gear for that distance event. So let me know. Thanks for stopping by and good luck.